Hey guys, Ulysses here with Odie Kong. For today, I wanted to make a quick video celebrating the new Chili Peppers album by making a 3D jacket based off of their hit album, Blood Sugar Sex Magic. Now, tell me, can you spot all the Easter eggs and references I made for this jacket? Let's get into it. So first and foremost, I hope you guys are loving the new album. I'm actually listening to it while I'm editing this video, but you know, let's get into the jacket. Now one look at the jacket and it's pretty obvious that the color palette takes its inspiration behind the album art. Made by filmmaker Gus Van Sant, I don't know if I pronounced that right. This album art is probably like one of my favorite of all time, if I'm being honest. The the color palette, I should say, is so interchangeable. Like there's no, no color dominates here. The red pops out because of the black and the black pops out because of the gray. Gray pops out because of the white. You get the gist. Now, I don't know if it's my biases and my hindsight playing tricks on me, but I always felt that like the album oozes this feeling of like taboo and rebellion. Maybe I'm reaching, but this is what I saw and ultimately what I tried to replicate in this jacket. I wanted I wanted the jacket to look intimidating and mysterious at first glance, but still intriguing. The more you look at it, the more it calls to you. Almost like begging for you to look at it deeper. Enticing you like a taboo would, if that makes sense. Let's move on. Now, in terms of era, era definitely played a huge part in the design and aesthetic of the jacket due to the fact that the album came out in 1991 a year before the you know the whole grunge movement went mainstream now as a as a plebeian i associate grunge with punk punk music is definitely something that the chili peppers are heavily influenced by and due to the pop friendly mother's milk their previous album the chilies were looking to revamp their sound into getting into something more gritty and raw and more in line with what they were feeling at the time that's not to say mother's milk wasn't a good album it's just saying what it is and with the aforementioned grunge movement looming around the corner, they struck gold with their new direction. Hence why I went with such a chaotic art design. I wanted it to look like those old punk jackets. It has like this mix of uh, both leather and denim and peppered. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Peppered throughout the jacket are references of punk posters that you would see in venues of that time. And I can't fail to mention that worn and dirty look that the jacket has uh, that was obviously inspired by the look that was really prevalent during those times. Which in turn brings me to the character of the jacket. Characteristically, I wanted this jacket to be as versatile as the album. The album contains songs like for every core mood that we have. Like, you feeling melancholy? Listen to Under the Bridge or I Could Have Lied. Happy? Listen to Apache Rose Peacock or a greeting song. You want to overthrow a shitty government? Power of equality right there. There's something literally for everybody. So obviously I wanted to make a jacket not only for everyone, but for every occasion. Or at least every suitable occasion. Now, of course, Chili Pepper fans would be the ones that love it, I hope. But one thing I didn't want to make was your typical merch tour wear. I wanted this jacket to be something you rock with Doc Martens or Jordans. You know, ripped jeans or slick chinos, fully dressed or a sock on your cock. And that, in my opinion, is truly the power of equality. <laughs> now, last but not least, let's go over the references. First, I have to point out the tassels in the back. Now, if you have to ask, why tassels? Well, it's a reference to Anthony Kiedis, the lead singer of the band who's Native American, Mohican actually, to be specific, by way of his grandmother. Now, while I was doing you know, research on the inspiration, I saw that a lot of Native American garb like contained tassels. And I thought, you know, what better way to represent this than by adding them to the jacket? Next, we have punk posters all throughout the jacket that I mentioned before. But what I didn't mention was the inside of the jacket, the lining, which contains references to some of the Chili Peppers' biggest influences. I'm talking everything from Circle Jerks to George Clinton and Parliament. I mean, what better way to represent and respect your idols than by keeping them close to heart? Next, we have the back of the jacket, which contains the Blood Sugar Sex Magic tour dates as well as, you know, the, ob the obvious logo. And I even added mine in there just to pretend like I'm part of the band. Now the white leather panels on the side, uh, they have some of the songs from the album. And if we make our way to the sleeves, we have references to each of the band members. Now the patch contains a nod to Flea and his signature gap. 
The tribal tattoo is a reference to Anthony's tattoo. And speaking of tattoos, both John and Chad have uh, similar octopus tattoos. I wonder what that's about. And of course, as one last selfish move, I had to put two of my favorite songs on uh, the right sleeve. But to be honest, I would have picked any song to go there. I mean, did I mention how much I love this album? Overall, I you know I think uh, this is a good first attempt, and I would love to create more album-inspired gear. My dream is to like make this jacket in real life and give it away to the band personally. So if you know any Chili Pepper fans, please share this with them, and hopefully you can get to the eyes of the band and they can see this, and I can actually make it for them and give it to them. Uh, but before I run this video off course, I apologize for how rushed it might seem. Um, but I have to say I had fun making this uh, jacket and I hope you had fun watching the explanation behind it. Let me know what you guys think of it and would you rock this? You know, leave a comment below and if you have any other artists that I should take a look at, let me know. You can also reach me on uh, Twitter or Instagram at Odico. But for more content, feel free to like and subscribe. My name is Ulysses here at Odico, signing out. Take care, y'all. We've only just been